Okay, Master Gardeners, get your glasses on. If you've been growing potatoes, it's time to get out and do your IPM, Integrated Pest Management Time. Colorado potato beetles are on my potatoes, and I never have ever sprayed for them. I always just do mechanical controls. Let's take a look at them. They're out here finding my potatoes. Let's see if we can, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Hopefully you can see him. 10 stripes, brown color. And what's he doing right now? He's looking for a mate. Probably gonna be mating on my potatoes quite shortly. This is what I do for my best control. I fill up a container with soapy water and I find them on my plants and I drop them in my soapy water. It's really the best control when I have adults. So right now I've seen multiple pairs of them mating out here and I was able to just take them and knock them in here. Here's some, here's five adults or five or six. This is how many I just found. They're even mating in my container. Oh my gosh, it's sickening. So this is my number one control is I just dump them all into a soapy mix. But a lot of times I store them for future study in a vial that is filled with hand sanitizer. It's a great effective way to display insects for other people that you're teaching classes to. So let's look at what the eggs, it's much easier to kill them as eggs before they hatch. I've got multiple different leaves here with the samples. Look how dark this set of eggs is real dark. There's a lighter set. Usually they're in little clusters of about 15. Some of them I find just singly on the back of the leaves. Um, and when I find them just singly or one or two, I'll just um, smash them with my fingers. But look at this plant. Oftentimes their adults are drawn to plants that are already stressed. And I hate to admit, but I had fertilizer concentrate out here and I thought, oh, I'll just toss it over on my potatoes. I threw it on here. This is not uh, cold burn. This is actually from a liquid fertilizer that I threw on it. But guess what? I found multiple sections with the little eggs. There they are. Little set of eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty eggs on there. So that's what you're looking for. Usually, when you find them on the stems, this is all I do. I run my finger across them and just smash them. I just smash them into smithereens. If you wanted to tear the leaf off and put it in a garbage bag, you could. Look how many are on this leaf. Lots of them. Oh gosh, oh, there they are all over my fingers. So all of those can potentially hatch. So I'm gonna put my fingers down in my soapy water, try to suffocate them down in there. So if you can catch them as an egg, you're really, really gonna be safer in your vegetable garden, but sometimes you're gonna catch them as, um, as larva. And let me show you what the larva looks like. He's a hunchback little guy. And I have him in a vial here because I haven't had hatched any yet. Little dots all down him humpbacked. The problem with the Colorado potato beetle is he will totally defoliate your potato and he can do it to the level that it could actually kill it. Like where, where is he coming from? How's he finding my potatoes? I plant potatoes every year. I rotate my crop. They never go in the same place over three years, but he's overwintering in the soil in my garden. I was planting some cannas over there yesterday and when I was cultivating the soil, sure enough, I turned it over and found an adult Colorado potato beetle over there. So overwintering. One of the best IPM controls is to put like 10 inches of straw on the ground. They say that it can confuse the adult and he can't find your base of your plant as easily. So of course they say weed free straw or hay. Like good luck trying to find that. But I'm going to put a little bit deeper straw on here and see if that really does help. But other than that, I don't do I don't do chemical sprays from these. I just do IPM. When I start finding the little larva, again, I'm just out here every day or every other, pinching them out, killing them. Because it is a plant, it's an insect that's resistant to seven. Don't bother to try to put seven on it. It's not going to control it. The old ones, like malathion, the insect has become resistant. So those controls are not effective. If you want to try neem oil or some of the oils, that can be helpful. But I always find the best thing. I've never, ever sprayed them. I just come out and check every other day. So there's your Colorado potato beetle. What you're going to need is a little kneeler because you got to crawl and look underneath of the leaves. Every one of the leaves on the bottom. Oh, that's right. I got to get that one off there. And I smash them. Smash those little babies underneath of there. So get some control in your garden right now. Start looking for them.